Nearly all circuits that you simulate need a voltage source of some kind. In LT Spice, the humble voltage source rarely gets to demonstrate its true capabilities. This video will help you learn some of the undiscovered talents of the LT Spice voltage source. Welcome to this LT Spice 4 Behavioral Voltage Sources video. I'm your host, Simon Bramble. In this video, we'll explore the power of the behavioral voltage source and see what mathematical functions LT Spice can bring you to further stimulate your circuit. A behavioral voltage source outputs a voltage according to any number of circuit parameters, and it can be used to unleash the real mathematical power of LT Spice. Let me demonstrate. Here I have two voltage sources, each connected to their respective loads. V1 is outputting a sine wave of amplitude 1 volt at a frequency of a kilohertz. I would like to know the power dissipation in resistor R1. I can use a behavioral voltage source to do this. I know that power is equal to voltage times current, so I can set up the behavioral voltage source to give an output voltage of V out 1 multiplied by I R1. Hold down the control button and right click over the behavioral voltage source V1. Edit the value line to read V equals V open brackets out 1 close brackets multiplied by I open brackets R1 close brackets and run the simulation. If we probe out 2, we can see that the behavioural voltage source has output a voltage equal to the instantaneous power dissipation in resistor R1. Sometimes it's tricky to know how LT Spice will label certain parameters, especially currents. You can apply net names to voltages, but not to currents. In this case, it's advisable to set the output of the behavioural voltage source, B1, to 0 volts, run the simulation, and see how LT Spice has labelled the parameters you're interested in. Then modify your behavioural voltage source accordingly. Now we can hit F1 to bring up the LT Spice help files. Click on the search tab and type in behavioural with the US spelling And by selecting the arbitrary behavioural voltage or current source, we can see all the mathematical functions LT Spice can provide. Therefore, let's construct a 1 volt sine wave of frequency 1 kHz and modulate this with a decaying exponential. We can see that I have generated the sine wave using LT spice variables of time and pi. This is then multiplied by a decaying exponential. Run the simulation and we get our decaying sine wave. Another place you might want to use a behavioural voltage source is to determine the efficiency of a power supply over its operating range. You can set up a behavioural voltage source to measure input voltage times input current and one to measure output voltage times output current, then a third to divide one by the other to get the efficiency. Since a buck converter can have discontinuous input current but continuous output current, the simulation can give moments of infinite efficiency. So my third behavioural voltage source has a limit to limit the value between 0 and 1 as shown on the schematic. In this circuit, I'm ramping down the input voltage to the buck converter to see how the efficiency is affected. We can see that the efficiency gets slightly better as the input voltage decays. In general, the behavioural voltage source, or indeed the behavioural current source, can be used to apply any mathematical function to any one or more circuit parameters. So it can be seen that behavioural voltage sources are a powerful tool, especially in circuit diagnosis, and can bring much more functionality to your LT Spice circuit than just AC and DC stimulation. For more information or to download a free copy of LT Spice, please visit us at www.linear.com forward slash LT Spice. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best in your simulations.